I've managed to build over 10 streams of revenue over the age of 30. And by the way, I'm from South Africa and I am based in South Africa. So the aim of this video is just to inspire you so that you can find other ways of making more income. And in today's video, I'll be telling you how I've built this other sources of income and also what no one tells you the challenges or what it takes to make it so hi guys my name is sharan and if you happen to like this video please don't forget to hit that like button and also to subscribe to the channel and also if you have comments leave your comment and if you have questions you can also leave your questions so the first thing that i am doing or that i started doing just like two years ago is youtube so i also do have um three other youtube channels two of which are monetized and they are giving me a good revenue each and every single month so when people are watching my videos and the ads are playing that's how i make the bulk of my revenue but also i do make revenue there from the memberships or people doing like the super things but what no one tells you is the amount of effort that it takes especially when you are starting out with your very first channel because everything is just a learning curve trial and error but it involves a whole lot of research in terms of what works and what does not work and also you know that you need to meet the 1000 subscribers as well as the 4000 watch hours so meaning that the first videos that you are going to be putting up maybe only a few people are going to be watching them you'll put in the effort to find that uh, only a few people watch or no one even watches that video but once you are monetized the sky is the limit in terms of how much you can make other people are even making like uh, millions of dollars per annum just from youtube revenue number two something that i've just started recently is one-on-one -on -one consultation so because of the audience that i have I'm able to sell my time to them. Yes, what I'm offering is free. I am preaching the gospel is free, but my time is worth money. So now I've started doing like one-on-one -on -one consultations where people uh, come for coaching or mentorship or if they need prayer, so if they need a word of encouragement. So that's what I also offer. Number three is real estate. So when I bought my first property, I stayed in it for like five years and then moved to another one. And then the first one, I did not sell it. I just decided to rent it out. And then also the second one that I stayed in, when now I moved to this property, I rented now the second one as well. But the challenges with that, obviously it requires you to have an income in order to be purchasing a property through the bank. And also that some months you might not have the tenants and then some months you might need to be doing uh renovations and a bit of maintenance there number four i am selling digital and physical products so there's books that i have written also a journal that is being sold on amazon and then also there is a course on how to make a full-time income on youtube that i am selling so you can just see that it's quite easy to sell those digital products especially if you've built an audience so what no one tells you in terms of these digital products it's that you are going to need like a platform to sell them or you are going to need an audience that you have to be marketing to because the moment you stop marketing it might also not sell number five i benefit from dividends as well as capital appreciation from the shares or the stocks that i have invested in so when they do declare a dividend whether once a year or twice a year the different stocks i do benefit from that as well as the capital appreciation but the downside is that the stock that you might invest in maybe it might lose its value meaning that you've lost the money or a portion of the money until you decide to sell or until it bounces back up again so it's quite a risk and also it does require you to put in like upfront capital number six it is donation so i do get gifts or donations from people without even asking for them because of my following on youtube when someone likes me or likes the content that i'm doing sometimes they do offer to me through paypal 
but as well it comes with me producing the content with me being out there because before no one ever gifted me with money before i started my youtube channel number seven i do make interest on my savings so every month there's an amount of money that i am saving and then this money is just accumulating as well as the interest is just busy compounding but what people don't tell you about savings is that it requires a level of discipline where you have to ensure that your spending habits are not above the money that you are making per month and also it requires one to always be looking for other opportunities to invest that money because the money that you can make through savings is quite limited number eight so i also make money through affiliate marketing so the one that has worked for me the most is the amazon influencer program i've made a lot of money through the amazon influencer program and it also boils down to having an audience on youtube that is why i was able to be part of the amazon influencer program and there's also other affiliate programs that i'm part of so if someone clicks on the link and they purchase through my link i also do get a commission but also why people don't tell you is that building that for or that audience it does require time because it might mean that you need to have a blog or you need to have a good following on your social media so that you can be able to promote those links to your audience number nine i do make income from my blog the ads that are being viewed on my blog i make income from it but getting a blog to have sufficient traffic in order to make good revenue can be quite a challenge it's really a lot of hard work a lot of research you need to know what you are doing because many people have given up on this journey and also with me because the blog that's not where i pay most of my attention to the money that i make from the blog is not that much I also make an income from my qualification. Yes, two years ago, I resigned from my job. I left my job as a chartered accountant and now I am a full-time digital content creator, but I still have the skills. I still have the qualification to my name. So when people need uh, accounting related, business related type of training, I do offer those trainings. And also if people want me or businesses want me to prepare their financial statements, I do offer those services as well. So don't forget to like and also to comment and also to subscribe to the channel. Stay blessed.